Hey, hey everybody. Those of us from the cold, colder climates know what it means to have a fireplace, and above a fireplace is a mantle. And everybody, of course, has heard of Mickey Mantle. But the story that we will be engaging this Sunday is a story of Elijah and Elisha. And it's from that story that we truly get the definition of what a mantle is. In this case, we're talking about the mantle of leadership. One can say that one assumes the mantle of another's leadership. It means assuming the responsibilities of another. And so the story that we're going to read and learn and engage from Second Kings illustrates the response of those who are faced with the challenge of the succession of the taking on of the mantle of another. The stole of ordination is symbol, symbolic of the, the mantle of responsibility. Well, in this Old Testament passage, Elijah is taken up to heaven in a whirlwind. But that's not the central part of the story. The central part of the story is Elisha, who is left behind, deals with the uncertainty of entering into the unknown and has the courage to embrace it without fear. Today we need to acknowledge in our churches that we are experiencing a lot of grief and lament over the loss of old certainties. And it seems that we are in our own kind of whirlwind of sorts. What does it mean to pick up the mantle today, to walk from the Jordan leaving Elijah behind and the whirlwind behind? It means enjoying what's possible now and wasn't so possible before. There's a poignancy about the succession of leadership that we can see among God's prophets and that can still move us today, especially as we encounter all these seismic changes that are happening within our culture and within the church. Remember that Elijah didn't take up his mantle and carry it with him to heaven. He left it behind, the very symbol of his power and authority didn't go up into that whirlwind. It stayed behind with Elijah, and Elijah passed it on to others and others and others. This coming Sunday, we pass on the mantle of leadership through the ordination and installation of officers, that line of succession who, through the voice of the congregation, by the power of the Holy Spirit, have been prevailed upon to enter into their role of leadership. We hope that you will join us for Palms Live, and we hope that you will continue to encourage others to join us and find ways to invite them, because we're always glad to have you. And we pray that you will continue to stay strong, that you will continue to stay Stay safe and remember that God is nigh, and because of that, we got this. <laughs>